my name is Jennifer Brindley Ubel, and I am a wedding photographer based in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And I do headshots and boudoir, and I am also a storm chaser. So I didn't really realize that storm chasing was a thing that was real. I was living in Denver and one day met this guy named Tony Lawback, who was working with Channel 7 News. and. We developed a friendship and I found out that he was a storm chaser and I didn't believe him at first <laughs> because I said that there's no way, that's not a real thing that people do. And then, uh, and then I begged to go with. I saw my first tornado in 2007, but my fascination with weather has been long standing. So uh, technically I went to school for photography and uh, I learned some things, but I was not a professional photographer at that time. I went full time with my business um, 2007 when I was in Colorado and in October of 2008 my husband and I moved from Denver to Milwaukee and I started my full time photography business and that's JB Photography. A lot of people ask me, why on earth would you move from Denver to Milwaukee? But what they don't know is that love makes you do crazy things. Most of my time as a photographer in my normal world here in Milwaukee is spent editing photos on the computer, doing business related things, and then I'm doing photo shoots. So that's weddings on the weekends, and that's boudoir photography in the studio, and that's some headshots, engagement sessions. Whenever I photograph a wedding, I walk into that wedding thinking, okay, Jen, we got a wedding today, which is super awesome, and we're going to make our best wedding image ever today. Now sometimes I don't meet that challenge, but I'm always posing that challenge to myself. Photographing weddings and photographing storms aren't all that different. We think that they're very different, but they're both high pressure scenarios with constantly changing environments, challenging lighting situations. So really, I'm either chasing the big white dress or I'm chasing the big white tornado. So the hot spot time for tornadoes is normally the end of June. And a uh, perfect example of that for me was June 16th of 2014 in Pilger, Nebraska, where we had two twin EF4 tornadoes on the ground at the same time. That looks like two tornadoes. That looks like two wedge tornadoes. Most of storm chasing is waiting. 90% of the time you're driving <laughs> and you're waiting. Um, but for me, chasing is not just about the tornadoes, but it's about the entire experience. It's about the road trip. It's about the storms, whether I get a tornado or not, but also it's about the people that I meet. Being a storm chaser and being a photographer especially is like a little key that lets me open the door into people's worlds. And people is the thing that drives everything for me. Uh, my latest incarnation of that is celebrity doppelganger photo shoots. I have not unveiled the project publicly because I'm working on building a big portfolio of all kinds of interesting faces, uh, but the latest one that we're shooting is going to be an Amy Winehouse. All right, I need that light. Uh, can you look closer to the face, please? Famous photographer Richard Avedon once said that his portraits are more about him than the people he photographs. and. I find myself relating to that often, that the need to take a portrait of someone styled as Amy Winehouse is not about that person. But the entire process of this is saying something about my heart and what I'm interested in. And those things feed my passion, they feed my soul. Um, it becomes a challenging and delicate balance between personal life, my work life, and storm chasing. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing a lot of juggling uh, and sometimes I have to sleep for about a week or two <laughs> to catch up, but um, it's all worth it. <laughs>